What's going on everyone? I'm back here with another video and today I'm going to be giving you guys a look at the newly redesigned Photos app in iOS 10. So the uh, new Photos app does include several new features as well as a uh, slightly altered user interface. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at the application. So straight away you can tell that the uh, UI is slightly different than what it was in iOS 9. So we have four tabs at the bottom. You have Photos, uh, which is basically your collections like you had in iOS 9. Uh, we have a new tab called Memories, Shared, and your Albums. So currently we're in the Album view. And basically this is the standard view that you can basically view all of your albums, such as your camera roll, videos, screenshots, photo stream, and then recently... Uh, deleted and so on and so forth. So basically this um, acts in the same way as it did in iOS 9, just the look of it is slightly different, so it's kind of like a tile view instead of a list view. Uh, and you have the same functions uh, as you normally would. You have the little plus button that when you click it you can add an album. You have search, uh, which search has actually become much more powerful than it was uh, in previous versions of iOS because uh, the new search in iOS 10 uh, with the Photos app, you can now search uh, by people. As you can see here, there's a special album for people. Um, and you can search for places, um, the time that the photo was taken, uh, if there's water in the photo. Um, basically, you can search um, essentially almost anything uh, within the photo. So it's kind of a really interesting feature and one that probably most people will find quite useful. And um, then you have the basic edit button, which again lets you select albums that you want to delete and things like that. So the basic there. <coughs> uh, and then the new section, like I said before, the people album here. So if we click this, this is where you can add favorites uh, to your or to this album. So when you want to add a person, you click this a little plus button there, and it lets you add a person within the photo. So basically, the app analyzes all of the faces within uh, your photos, and then you can designate that uh, face and or person um, under a specific name or something like that. So this is just some random uh, person's face here. So if I click on that, you can click Add, and then it's now added to your uh, person or favorites down there. Now if you can click and drag it up here, you can see it drags it up and now that person is added to your favorites and if you want to remove that person from your favorites you drag it oops got a glitch here but you drag it back down out of the favorite section uh, like so so but it kind of got a glitch there but that's basically how you would do that uh, moving on from album uh, is over to shared um, but I'm not actually going to click into that tab because it does have a bit of personal info in there uh, that I don't want to show on this video. Uh, but basically, all the shared album or shared tab does is it sorts all of your shared photos that you have shared with your friends and family and any of the photos that they have shared with you. So it basically works the exact same as it did in iOS 9. Um, not too much has changed within that. Um, then the next tab here is Memories, which you, d you need to have a pretty substantial amount of photos on your device. But since iOS 10 beta just came out a couple days ago, um, the Memories function does not work uh, correctly. Because, like I said, there's not enough photos uh, for this feature to work correctly. Uh, but basically what Memories does is it sorts all of your photos and videos depending on the places that they were taken, the times that they were taken, and who is in the photo. So what type of subject was, is within the photo. If it's, say, you're a friend of yours, or if it's a family member, or if you have a pet in the photo, um, it will analyze that and display the memories accordingly, which is kind of cool. And then another nifty feature about this is the device uh, will, or the software will um, basically edit together a video, um, kind of like something that you would do in iMovie uh, manually. You basically, it edits together a bunch of 
uh, videos and photos uh, with some text overlaid on top of them and add some mu uh, music to them um, and then it displays it on the top of the uh, section there and you can basically play it back or save it or do whatever you want with it share it and anything like that and then of course you can edit it it's not permanent you can go in and change the music that the um, from something else that you would like maybe you don't like the music that uh, the software shows uh, you can easily go in there and change that so it's it's really really interesting um, I'm really intrigued to really get try this out uh, in the final version of iOS 10 um, so yeah, it's really something I'm interested to try out, and it's pretty cool. Uh, okay, the lastly over here we have the Photos tab, which basically is the same exact thing as we had in iOS 9, which just basically sorts your photos by moments and collections. So currently we're in uh, the Moments view, and then you can go back to Collections, which shows all of the photos within your collection. And then you can go base, uh, back to the Basic Year view, showing all of the photos that you have taken in the past year or in the past several years depending on which photos you have but again like iOS 10 has only came out a few days ago um, there's not very many photos within this but uh, when you do accumulate more photos the photos app will definitely um, work much much better and you'll over time see many more features become available and it'll just get much more intuitive and fun to use um, but basically, that is the new Photos app in iOS 10. Um, I'm liking it. It's it's a welcome change. Um, there's many new features that will make the app quite useful and fun to use. So, that's basically it. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button right down below. It's greatly appreciated. Um, if you guys like the video um, or enjoying my videos, hit that like button. It's much appreciated as well. Um, also, if you guys have any questions, comments, or anything like that, uh, drop a comment below, and I will get back to them as soon as I can. So yeah, with that being said, hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.